Okay. I started on Windows Movie Maker when yeah. I was when I was really young. Yeah, just, just I started put on Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> just like it was bomb. <laughs> I started I started on a thing called uh, Cyberlink Power Director. Yeah, I remember that. Program. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Department Spotlight, the show where we talk to our friends and colleagues about film and the film industry through the various lenses of the different departments, hence Department Spotlight. In case you were confused. Today's uh, podcast and YouTube video is about editing. Hello, Yaku. Hey, Mark. You're an editor. I am. Hey, Mark, are you an editor? I'm also an editor. Wow. Wow. Since we were like the two main editors on this project, we had one other ed editor, Stephanie, but she's in Cape Town, so she's not here. So it's just us. Sorry, no friend or colleague today. But we're friends and colleagues. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's cover this question now, because I suppose people always want to know. Uh, that's why just, we're going to ask it now. What, uh, what software do we use to make these films? Hashtag Adobe Creative Cloud, Premiere Pro all Shout the out. way. Shout out Adobe. Do you need all the, they obviously need all the press they can get. Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro. Um, the most recent version, version 14 is insane. I don't know what they did from 2019 to 2020, but it like, playback is just so butter. Battery smooth. Butter, it's dude. So good. It's um, crazy. Um, so, why why don't we use any other programs, Mark? Uh, Premiere for the win. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you obviously when you were in third year, you guys used Avid. Um, at Avid after. Media Composer. I when I was in third year, I was doing sound design, visual yeah. effects, and and like just from watching the editors use Avid, I got so mad. Um, okay, well, I, so I loved Avid because they just didn't know how to use it properly. Um. <laughs> no, 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 I probably didn't know how to use it properly because like there would inevitably be something that I have to fix myself in the sound because yeah, yeah, yeah. some editor didn't know how to, you know, exporting an OMF for, uh, for Pro Tools or exporting an XML or, or I don't think you did, that did XML, but something for the visual effects side. I think we had to do AOFs, but Every time I would just get so frustrated. I mean, the one cool thing yeah. about Avid that I that I think every NLE should have, and then I'm, that I, you know, when Premiere is like, what would make you recommend us more? Right? I'm always like, batch auto sync audio and video, because it cannot do that. You can do, you can do one one clip at a time, mm -hmm. or you can do like a multicam sequence, and then it like. Does, but then it creates like hundreds of multicam sequences and like just merge the clip with the audio like under batch that's all premiere adobe you know it's but that's Holy the one God. thing that i yeah that's the one thing that i loved about um avid because mm. you could just highlight sync and there it goes um well i really liked avid no one else really liked it um that's partially because of the way things were set up there. Um, Avid is designed to set up so that everyone is using everyone is using Avid across like the whole like a whole studio. Okay. They work it works very well like on a server. Okay. Um, so everyone can access the same project and um, I had no problems with it going to um, Pro Tools. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's both Avid program. Yeah, yeah, so which you would just, think would be the easiest like thing, the but like problem. Because I never had a problem with it. Right. And one one thing I have to say about Avid versus Premiere is, Premiere you can edit and you can de develop a lot of like really bad editing habits, mm -hmm. um, because it's like quite like a chilled program. Like yeah, you yeah. can just throw stuff in and it'll just do whatever. It'll stay and it'll, there. Everything will connect and it'll always yeah, be like yeah, working yeah. and stuff unless when it crashes because it always crashes. But anyway, <laughs> um, shots. Um, uh, Avid never crashes. <laughs> like 
Avid's like But also Avid is on the Mac. Uh, yeah, and also, but an Avid doesn't let you edit in a way where you develop bad editing habits. Mm. You have to edit the way mm. you have to edit, you know what I mean? You <laughs> yeah. have to use and I mean, we the should, shortcuts, you have to... I mean, we should mention mm. that Avid, for, for anybody who doesn't know, Avid is the industry standard. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, not, I don't think in South Africa. I think in South Africa, we mainly still use Premiere for everything. Yeah. Um, but Final Cut, the the Final Cut Seven, yeah. Um, but dark, dark times. yeah, dark times. But in <coughs> like most of Hollywood would yeah. use He's Avid added. because it has that like it came from yeah way back when it was like its own computer. There's pros and cons, but I mean definitely I yeah. just like I just use Premiere. Yeah, I don't think I have many. I mean also the price difference. Is Massive. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> it's massive. That's that's like one of the biggest reasons to use CC is because yeah. like they, all, all the programs work together. Yes. Yeah, and like what I was saying about uh, visual effects, that's very easy. Right click, replace with After Effects, done. Yeah. Um, obviously, with link. Pro Tools, like I think Media Composer and Pro Tools have a very similar dynamic link. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because it's, they're both Avid, yeah, and yeah. then obviously After Effects and Premiere are both. Um, Adobe programs, um, but I, but like I find just going to all the programs, Premiere is like very, like it'll shake your hand, easy, yeah, you know. Absolutely. Whereas Avid's like, huh, you're not using Pro yeah, Tools. Well, good luck, man. Properly, yeah. Yeah, but like, like getting back to it, if you, if you're just starting and you have access to even iMovie or yeah, I mean, Windows like, Movie Maker. I started on Windows Movie Maker when, yeah. I, was, when I was really young. Yeah, I started... Down, put on Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> just like, it was bomb. <laughs> I, started, I started on a thing called uh, Cyberlink Power Director. Yeah, I remember that program. Yeah, yeah. So that was the first editing yeah. program that I, I used. I suppose the editing thing extends to what we were talking about in our announcement video about the just like make your movie it extends to like whatever you can edit it together like shoot it on your phone and then you can get NLEs on your phone and like edit yeah, it on yeah, your yeah. phone yeah, and yeah. they've got like proper timelines and stuff even like better than Final Cut Final 10, Cut 10 <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah obviously as you get more serious about it you have to move to Premiere or yeah. Avid. Like that learning curve between Avid and Premiere is very, is not, I mean, it's still a little bit steep, but it's, it's not as bad. Yeah. If you, like, like Mark was saying, if you have your, if you set up your projects in Premiere properly, then Avid is just going to yeah, be like exactly. a completely lateral yeah. move. You'll be able to do it easily. But like we said, just get yeah. whatever software you can yeah. and just start you have to be organized if you're in, <laughs> if you're going to be an editor you have to you i'm really more organized to. in my projects than i am in my real life because <laughs> yeah. you just have to because even uh, even on these shorts even on other projects where if you get like a little bit lazy it, you're just gonna like it just ruins you later on yeah you just and then you're like you end up having to do the organize organizing later on anyway yeah. Um, even with the some of these shorts, I've been just like, I've been getting like really in the zone. And then when you get like really in the zone, you know, the organizing, organizing starts to become mm. like a little lax. Um, and then I, I have to like stop myself and like go back, organize some stuff. When you get into like teams of people or into like a post-production house yes. or something, you're going to, that project's not just going to be yours. Yes. Other people will be looking at it. You'll be sharing it amongst. Yes you know the other speaking, departments and stuff and if you if your stuff is disorganized you're gonna get like you're gonna get fired if yeah. you don't organize your stuff properly it's yeah. like having like your boss walking by and you've got like a messy ass desk and you can't yeah. see anything like no one's gonna want to yeah, work yeah. with that person and, and speaking about like i've been doing a bunch of like more corporate type stuff and um some of them want to keep the project files with them afterwards i mean i I sell them back. I don't just give them away. But even if that happens, right? You have to have an organized thing because the idea is that let's say you like, God forbid, get into a car crash. Now this deadline is not going to move because you were in a car crash. Now someone else has to take over your project. Now they can't find anything. They have to restart the thing. 
you miss the deadline and you'll never work again because the guy's like, yeah, well, he's good, but as soon as we needed, as soon as he wasn't available, our whole project failed because, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I thought I was organized until I got Stephanie's project back um, to like just... I've also worked from one of Stephanie's projects. That's, it's insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, um, and like, I've actually adopted a lot of the things that she did. Like, it's, you think it's small things, but like having a specific order to your sequences, like zero one first cut or zero one sync, zero two, um, and then that you know that's the same for all the projects, you know? So you can like open, I'm sure you can open any other projects and just immediately know what's happening everywhere, which is amazing. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't changing anything in the project. I was just adding markers for notes on a timeline. But I could easily um, go back into her select sequence because she labeled it so clearly in a sequences bin. Could easily go back there and then she color coded every scene. So I knew that if I just wanted to look at the other takes, so I can be like, maybe use the other take, yeah. I could just easily skip to that, like that color section. And then she like, um, she has a little text thing that says the scene, right? And then she makes a cut in that text thing for when it's a new shot. So like all the takes in shot one are like under the same umbrella of that like text thing. And then the same for all of it. So I could literally, go through the things and it's amazing and like I've started doing a lot of that yeah I don't even do with that. the films <laughs> <laughs> I've started doing a lot of that with with the films that the two films that I edited and it just makes everything so much easier because you know sometimes when you're doing your select uh, select is just when you like go through it and you select a part of the take that you want to keep mm -hmm. and um, and then you like work with it but it's not really working so you have to go back and um, try another take and then it's it's all right there you know you don't have to look for it you don't have to scrub through it's there <laughs> so yeah um organization stephanie changed my life cool so i think we can yeah let's wrap it there so we have merch and we were thinking about making a store so if enough of you want this merch um which is really dope all the <laughs> designs um then let us know and then we'll yeah we'll we get that going try to get set something up for you guys Right, so Sorry. so that's it for today. Sorry there was nobody else. It was just me and Mark. But I hope you guys learned something or at least just enjoyed the conversation. If you didn't learn anything, tell us. You guys suck. But if you did, smash that like, do the subscribe, and uh, like. yeah, and do the things that all the YouTubers always tell you to do. But yeah, until next time, go out and make, make your, your movie. movie.